Welcome back to another Study Force tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to balance redox reactions occurring in basic solutions. Question 1 reads, balance the equation occurring in basic solution. To balance this redox reaction and any reaction occurring in basic solutions, we follow the half reaction method that we did in one of our previous videos, but instead we add an extra step to neutralize the acid with hydroxide, which will be shown in step 3 here. In step number one, as we did in all those previous examples, we assign oxidation states to each of the atoms in this reaction. Take a look at the iodide anion, I negative. Its oxidation state is negative one. The oxidation state of this diatomic molecule is zero. And the oxidation state of MnO4, that's a manganate ion, we have to do a little bit of math. The whole molecule has a charge of negative one and the oxidation state of oxygen is negative two. There are four oxygens, so if we solve this equation, if we solve for x, we'll know the oxidation state of Mn. Let's go ahead and do this. This becomes negative eight, and solving for x, we get positive seven. So this is positive seven, and that is minus two. We have to do the same sort of math here, as a whole, this charge is zero. We have negative two times two plus x. Solving for x, we end up with positive four. So that is positive four and that is minus two. In step number two, we have to find out what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. And we can tell from these oxidation states. Starting over here, we go from negative one to zero. We're actually becoming more positive. So we're losing electrons. Loss of electrons is considered oxidation. Always remember this acronym, oil rig, where loss of electrons is oxidation and gain of electrons is reduction. And we see that happening here, where we go from plus seven to plus four. Obviously, it's becoming more negative, so there is a reduction between these two. Let's write these half reactions down. So we have for oxidation, I minus, forming, I2, they're both aqueous. And the other half reaction goes from MnO4 minus, aqueous, and MnO2, solid. Both of these half reactions at this point need to be balanced both in mass and in charge. Starting with mass, and the oxidation reaction. We have two molecules of iodine here and one here. So I'll place a two in front of I minus. In this reaction, we have a balance in Mn, but we have four oxygens and two oxygens. To balance this out, I'll write down plus two H2O. That is how you balance oxygens in these half reactions. Now we have four oxygens on the right side and four on the left side but four hydrogens on the right side and none on the left side. So I'll write down four H plus ions. That's how you balance hydrogens in these types of reactions. Now the difference between acidic solutions and basic solutions, which is the one that we have here, is that you have to neutralize the H plus ions by adding enough hydroxide anions to neutralize each H plus ion. So we add the same number of OH minus ions to each side of the equation. Watch this. So I'll write down 4OH minus on the left side and 4OH minus on the right side. The next part is to balance each of these half reactions with respect to their charge. We have a charge of 2 minus here and a charge of 0 on the right side. So I'll write down plus 2 electrons on the right side. Now they're both at 0, neutral. Underneath, we have a charge here of four minus. The four OH and four hydrogen eventually become water, so their charge is zero. So an overall charge of negative one from here on the left side. So what I have to do is add three electrons on the left side. That way they are both negative four. So plus three electrons. The next step involves making sure that the electrons in the oxidation half reaction and the electrons in the reduction half reaction are the same. This one is two, this one's three. So to balance this out, they need to meet at six. So I'll multiply this by three and this by two. What this will do is make this into a six, that into a three, 
and this into a 6. And if I multiply everything here by 2, this becomes 8, 8, 2, 6, 2, 4, and 8. Of course, at this point, you may combine these into 8 H2O molecules. And we can also get rid of the fact that we have 6 electrons on the left side here and 6 on the right side here. So I will completely remove that and completely remove this part. In addition, we have 8 water molecules here and 4 here. We can cancel out 4 of these with all of these and now we can combine the reactants and the products together. So 6 iodine plus 4 H2O and that's in its liquid state plus 2 MnO4 manganate ions yielding 3 I2 aqueous plus 2 MnO2 that's in its solid state plus 8 OH minus aqueous ions. If you'd like to see the answer to question number two, make sure that you watch question two of this series where we cover its solution. We'll see you soon.